Now, the management of Meridian Port Services Limited has fought off claims that their expansion of the Tema Port will result in the loss of 1,400 jobs. The Trades Union Congress during the May Day celebrations appealed to President Ekufuad to review the contract, insisting it is not in the interest of the country. Management of the Meridian Ports on Tuesday opened up the expansion project to pressmen as they maintained Ghana's economy will see significant growth once the project takes off in June. Now we're going to hear from them shortly. But first, listen to TUC Secretary General Yao Ba, who spoke during the May Day celebration. After your last state of the nation address, we made a written submission to your office. In that submission, we drew your attention to some issues relating to a new container terminal, which is being constructed by MPS at Temaport. We understand that the Ghana government signed a 35-year contract with MPS in 2015, which will allow MPS to effectively monopolize the activities at the Temaport when they start operations at the new terminal in June this year. The contract was awarded to MPS without any competitive bidding. Our analysis show that when the new terminal commences operation in June, with the monopolistic rights given to MPS, Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority and other operators at the Thermal Port are going to lose huge revenues that may lead to the collapse of many container related businesses. This will translate into massive job losses in the maritime industry. GPHA may declare over 1,400 workers redundant in 2019 alone. Mr. President, if the contract is not reviewed and MPS commences operation in the new terminal in June, Ghana will surely lose millions of US dollars in revenue. In addition to over $800 million granted to MPS in tax concessions as part of this deal. Once again, we would like to humbly appeal to you, Mr. President, to intervene as a matter of urgency to ensure that the contract between Ghana government and MPS is reviewed. We need an agreement which is mutually beneficial and fair to the good people of Ghana. Right. So, uh, managers of Meridian Ports say that Ghana stands to benefit from the project. The people who are v vocal about it, they've never come to MPS to to face to face to ask us for this question. We haven't been actually been asked by 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 the. Uh, the MDU or, or the direct people, we, we haven't, you know, we haven't been challenged by them, you know, uh, let's be uh, honest. You know, this is one. Two, MPS is relocating its services. We handle 90% of the containers inside the port. We're relocating the services into this platform. As you have seen, this platform is much bigger than that one. So we will need more staff. Also, our outsourced services, truckers, and this, they will need more people. We need more security men. We need more tally men. We need more cleaners. Every job scale size, we need more. So we're going to employ more people. Not only that, we're going to operate 24-7 because one of the efficiencies that the, 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 the customs and the Office of His Excellency asked us to do is to work 24-7 like all other ports in this world and create a, an efficient platform for that purpose. So by working 24-7, we need more immigration, more uh, standard board, we need more food and drugs, we need more customs for sure, that's the bulk. We need more people to man the scanners and what happens after the scan. We need to create an avalanche of jobs, you know, for the support. Uh, and also the freight forwarders, they work into the night, they have to bring more people. So there is huge direct and indirect, you know, jobs for the stakeholders of this port, let alone this. If you find 20 new yard cranes, and you have at least two people mounting each crane per shift, for three shifts, 
then you can see that straight away even that one translates into a number of jobs. You look at the ship to shore cranes, a number of jobs. You look at the new uh, trucks that will be added on, a number of jobs. Look at these buildings, cleaning areas, a number of jobs. So, so, so that, does it basically mean that you are going to do more replacement from people who were working on it? We are already... We are currently recruiting. We are currently testing people, and we are currently uh, 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 expanding. There is two heats or two phases. One is now, and the second one is by February next year, January. I would say by the end of the year, we will start to receive the second wave. Do you have figures in terms of the numbers in terms of growth? We currently in the range of 2,000, I would say, direct and indirect jobs through our. Are additional people are recruiting. Or? Yes, my dear. What How many are the direct jobs? Where? I mean, not on the top of my head, you know, but uh, uh, probably in, inside MPS we will go by uh, 200, but we have uh, service providers that will, will go quite a bit, you know. Uh, uh, so we have... Because if you have, for example, 20 or 30 more trucks, okay, what you're going to have is that you're going to have drivers who will be working a maximum of four, five hours per shift. How many drivers do you need per truck for a 24 hour run? You will need four or five drivers. Multiply that by the 20 or 30 new trucks. You get that number. Look at the cranes. We have 20 more uh, cranes. We have seven more ship to shore cranes by the waterfront. Look at the cleaning of this yard. Look at the massive area. Look at people who are going to be behind the desk. Look at the common user area, people who are going to manage that facility. Look at the customs inspection platform. So there is a wide range of job openings that ought to be filled by Ghanaians. And this is what we are talking about.